time, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Mr. Dennis Noble, our uh, Ganson County uh, uh, Athletic Director and uh, Driver's Education Coordinator. Uh, this is Mr. Noble's first year in the rodeo, and he's doing a great job. We've had a great relationship so far. We look forward to it in the future. Thank you, Keith. Um, I should know better than to try to follow John Devine. <laughs> John embarrassed me at the Raleigh press conference at the state playoffs, so I'm going to kind of get John back just a little bit. And I see where I can speak till 8.30, I think, on the agenda, so <laughs> settle in. I'm going to make it short and sweet. Uh, I just wondered how John could possibly work in the word hairball into a banquet presentation, but with all due respect to Aaron, I apologize for your coach. <laughs> um, sitting here listening to everything that was said tonight, the one word that popped in my head all night long was impressive. Um, these athletes are an impressive bunch of young men and women. Uh, there's a group that probably I need to recognize too. I think there's two groups. I'm going to get to the other group later. But the first group, I think these young men and women are these type of young men and women because of the people they're around on a daily basis also, which are their coaches. Um, at this time, I'd like for the coaches that are here tonight to stand up. Very well deserved because I think these young men and women take a lot of what they get, their perseverance, their integrity, their character from being around these people on a daily basis. Um, I'm going to get to the other group in just a little bit. At this time, I'd just like to thank again the sponsors of this, Caramont and Sports Plus, uh, specifically Dr. Huber, Dr. Huber after leave. Yeah. Dr. Huber, uh, Kim Jones with Sports Plus, Kim stand up. Jim Dunn also with Caremont. Jim Dunn with the Park also. And I'd like to have the doctors and the trainers stand up for just a second while I speak about it, if they would. And just hold your applause for just a second. All the trainers, the doctors. Um, it's nice to know that you have people like this taking care of the young men and women that we have participating in athletics in Gaston County. Um, you know that any time a kid goes down, and there's a game going on, somebody's going to be out on that field taking care of that you know, young man and young woman. As a parent who has a child participating in sports, it makes me feel good to have that person around. Uh, and we thank you all. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just real briefly, I'm going to speak about the relationship that there is before, between Caramont Sports Plus uh, and the school system. To my understanding there's not a relationship like this anywhere. Uh, I know in the surrounding counties there's not, and I don't believe there is in the state, possibly in the region, but I know even in the state if there's a relationship somewhat like this, it's nothing to the extent that we have with Caramont Sports Plus. And it's, uh, it's a great thing. It, you really can't say enough about it. Um, the relationship exists to benefit the student athletes also, uh, for no other reason. Is only for them to be uh, benefited from the relationship we have with Caramont and Sports Plus. Uh, the Gamer Banquet is just another piece of that unique relationship. Uh, Gaston County Schools, we look forward to doing this for years to come. Uh, Kim did an outstanding job of planning this. Uh, she's probably already looking forward to it next year and already thinking about what she's going to do for next year because that's the kind of person that Kim is. What was that? Coach's Symposium. There you go. There you go. That's the next thing. Uh, the group that I wanted to recognize earlier, I want to recognize the coaches, are the parents. Uh, the group that probably has the most influence on this group of young men and women are the parents. Would the parents stand up? <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to say that, again, these athletes are just to be commended. Um, as a person that's been through a few injuries and surgeries and some rehab and therapy, I know what these kids have gone through. It's not fun. I mean, it's a, it's a struggle, and especially to do it, maintain the grades that they've been mentioned, that people have mentioned about them. To do that, I mean, it's something that's to, to, you know, to be commended. Uh, there's a group of guys here in the room that I play golf with every once in a while. And no more excuses, Kenny Howe, Larry Boone, John Devine. <laughs> 
my back hurts, my elbow hurts. <laughs> Don't want to hear it anymore because these guys have been through a whole lot more. Uh, in closing, I guess I am doing the closing, is that correct? Uh, still got some time? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jim said it's time. Uh, again, I just want to thank Caramont Sports Plus for the relationship that we've got. Uh, the guys in county schools with them and look forward to continuing it on. Uh, one last thing, it makes me proud to be the athletic director of the guys in county schools to see the athletes and the coaches and the ADs, also these other people that are here, the parents. It just makes me proud to be that person. Thank you all very much. Thank you all for coming out. We appreciate it. We look forward to next year. Thank <laughs> you.